So there's a lot of interest these days in Australian sheep breeding values. We've got producers talking more and more and wondering what it's all about and thinking more about objective measurements of the animals rather than just the way they look. Uh, you guys have been doing a lot of measurements for, for many years and are part of sheep genetics since the beginning. What got you into it? Well, we started with objective measurement back in the 60s when after we'd bought some rams and their progeny didn't match, they didn't resemble the rams that we'd bought. So we started um, measuring the things that we could, which were clean fleece weight, micron um, and body weight, to try and breed some better sheep because we couldn't rely on just buying a ram that looked good and expecting it to make some improvements for us. And what we found was we made quite a bit of improvement with objective measurement, but it wasn't enough because we found that uh, we were selecting for the early born singles because they weighed heavier at yearling age. They, um, they cut more wool and they were, uh, they were finer than the twins. So we were discounting the twins and the progeny from our maidens. So in 2002, when they started the pilot project for sheep genetics, we jumped at the chance to do that. And from that time, we've been doing, um, we've tagging at birth to record full pedigree on the animals and a birth weight and a birth date and an awful lot of measurements throughout their life, yeah. um, fleece measurements and carcass traits. Yeah. And you're focusing on a more dual purpose sheep, aren't you? So you're focusing on wool and meat traits? Yeah, so what we're trying to breed for is a, um, a robust, productive, easy care, fertile sheep. Uh, one of the traits that we really wanted to concentrate on was worm resistance, yep. so we could cut out drenching altogether, mm -hmm. and we've, we've done that. Oh, very good. And it's something you're going to continue with into the future? Right, absolutely. absolutely. Well, I know they work. You know, breeding values work, and that's, we've proven that over 13 years. Yep. Very good. If you had any advice for anyone thinking about starting objective measurements, if they haven't been, what would you, what would you say? Pick the key traits that are important to you and learn about them, just look at them because there are breeding values for an awful lot of traits and it can get confusing, but just focus on the ones that are important for your flock and the ones that the improvements that you want to make. There's always an index. If you choose an index that's applicable to your breeding and you use that or talk to your ram breeder uh, who does breeding values and, and let them help you choose rams that, that suit what you're trying to achieve at home.